Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sunny Swagsville. Wow, look at this view. Is it just me who's impressed? I really like the way how the Taipei Towers kind of faded into the sunset. I've managed to freeze the daylight cycle, so it's um, kind of like sunset, which I think is really nice, especially to build in. Um, but anyway, let's hop into what is new. So, directly underneath me, is kind of like a new part of the road. I plan on having this kind of also leaking out. Um, as you can see in the distance, we have some traffic now on the road. Uh, I am this episode planning on you know, adding some cars on this side or maybe on the corner. I don't know exactly. Uh, let me just quickly run through the vehicles that I've built already. So we have this kind of dump truck. I think it's like a really small dump truck, like, not like the GTA ones, where like the big yellow ones, but the kind that like carry cement and that around. Anyway, next we've got a police car, um, and then we've got like a beefed up kind of SUV uh, police car. Um, we then have this kind of like armored van thing. Um, I then have a kind of big rig, uh, like American styled oil uh, tanker. And then next to it is kind of like European, uh, like also um, oil tanker living when I can talk. <laughs> we then have an SUV and some type of ups delivery kind of van. <laughs> and then lastly, a bus. Um, and then we have this, uh, what they called. What, what they called when they've got nothing on. Um... Come on, I know this. Uh, flat top, I want to say, but I don't think it is. But I was going to roll with flat top. <laughs> um, as you can see briefly there, let's just pretend you didn't see that. But anyway, we then have the uh, the finished car park, which I think it looks fairly accurate to GTA. I mean, obviously, without the elevator or the stairwell, just because the maths on that to work it out would have been horrible. Uh, and then... What I've been working on, which has been a nightmare to get looking right. A kind of Seattle Space Needle inspired tower. Um, I don't really know. I have mixed opinions on this, to be honest. Sometimes I like it, and sometimes I look at it, and I want to knock it down. <laughs> so, how about just leave a comment if you think we should keep it, or if we should knock it down and replace it with the Las Vegas tower. Just because I was looking at the two, and I think that looks quite nice. Um, and then another thing. Near, I mean, this has been sneaky, sneaky, and I quite like this plan. But if you go to, if we, or if uh, in front of the UN kind of buildings, you've got this park. Nothing looks new. Hmm. Well, if you break this um, hedge, oh, when I can get down the ladder, I've started this little tunnel. And it's going to have all the maps, so we can see the map progress. Because there's no other way of doing it, unless you get a ton of a lot of editing. And as a kind of newbie, I don't want to do that. So this is episode 1 of 5. So um, I'm going to you know, do different episodes, and then the map above. Probably have the, um 10 episodes. So next time we will be adding one uh, of the maps, will be episode 15. So something I think we should congratulate this little community is I've already reached 200 uh, views and I think I started this channel around about the 20th of January um, so what I want to do this episode I can't think I think that well I'm pretty sure that's all I've added uh, yeah looks good <laughs> so something I've learned the hard way doing these uh, cars is how you should really do roads out of wool. Uh, I'm just going to move this back. Um, I did it out of carpet, which makes it a ton of a... Actually, now I'm going to move it forwards. Sorry, I keep on changing my mind. Uh, I'm going for a European kind of normal lorry or truck. Flatbed. I'm sure it's a flatbed. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? A flatbed. Um... So let me get the uh, the appropriate blocks for the cab. 
Uh, oh, and also iron. Here we go. Uh, let's put that there. Um, okay. Some like yeah, this is looking good. Oh, and some glass. And where is it? Uh, next it, glass panes. There we go. Yeah. So um, I should. I I kind of want to apologise about the mic problems. Um, I do, I I still can't work out if it is the mic or the Elgato. Um, it's been sneaky and it's not really showing any signs. Uh, where well, here we go. Add some buttons onto the wheels. The only down, uh, like the only uh, bad thing about having it in the sun set is if you build this way, then it's cool. But building that way and it gets a bit darker, you know, because it's night time. Um, so if we put naturally about here ish, yeah, build up with the stone, uh, something like this. This would be where the trailer connects. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. Uh, I just realised as we're here, I may as well add the um, the way you get into the door. Something I don't bother doing is adding the headlights because I mean it's really a s kind of small detail and it looks gr it makes your builds look or your vehicles even look really good up close, but at a distance you can't really tell. Um, so which colour? I'm thinking lime stained clo uh, clay. Symbol. If we do it, free up. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. And then I can't work. I can't decide if I want it like that. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, yeah, that works. Um, so I think that's kind of long enough. Uh, and then if we do this, and then if we get the coal out and the buttons, oh. And a. See what I mean? How I had to delete the carpet to place the stuff. Yeah, there we go. So let's finish off this kind of lorry thing. Um, if you do want to build it, then I'm going to uh, say please don't because I want to make a tutorial out of this truck because it's it's quite nice. I'll have to see what it looks like from a distance. Uh, in one second so um, let's pretend you haven't seen it uh, there we go grey wool uh, and yeah here and oh, here okay so let me see from a distance I'm liking that uh, I could do some type of what they called exhausty thing uh, something like that Oh, and also the, what are they called? The side things. The, oh, what are they called? So this is me being a stereotypical Jack again, always forgetting stuff. Uh, hmm, I'm going to have a quick sip of water and see if I can remember. Ah, something I just realised is I could add whatever they're called onto that here. Also, uh, how about if we see? I'm improving my build, not actually now, nah, because that's that. Uh, so, what colour was that? Red stain. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so we got one truck. Um, hmm. I'm I'm just thinking of vehicles we could do. Uh, how about? Hmm. Obviously, you can't build them on the corners. Oh, and actually, something I that is new, didn't it? Well, I've, actually, you wouldn't know because I've never showed you. But I've got a new character. <laughs> I got this. Let me do it this way, just so it's clearer to see. I got this in new um, Star Wars texture pack. Uh, what's it? The clone? No, the Rebels or something. Ah, oh, what was it called? I'm just gonna have a quick check, just because I've totally forgot. Um, Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, Star Wars Rebels. Um, just because I think this is hilarious, I mean, when he's, like, moving along, I mean, you can just imagine, I mean, I've I've, I've already actually done it, uh, but scared the crap out of my mate, just popping around the corner, because he expected my old skin, 
and then there's just this weird looking thing. I, I don't know why I find it so funny. I think it's his big like belly. But anyway, um, hopefully it's not just me and I'm like laughing at nothing. But oh, itchy. Um, so I don't know if you have ever tried it, Mr. or Mrs. Viewer. But to be honest, all, all my views so far have been man. So um, or male. So um, hmm, I'm just thinking of where we could. I don't know if I want to do another car there, because there isn't a next one there, um, and also it's a bit, a bit thin. So I th really, I shouldn't have picked vehicles to do this episode just because they're kind of hard to improvise. Like, um, you, you, I'm just gonna swap these out for glass panes or what they're called normal glass just because I don't really like it being ice um yeah uh, and then we can add on the s I still can't remember what they're called uh, let me just see what looks better yeah but vehicles are kind of hard to just improvise um I mean it's taken me however long since the last episode went up to come up with these so far. Uh, let me see. Does that look better? Eh, let's roll with it. So... Hmm. One thing I did want to do was like a truck or an SUV pulling a boat. But as you can imagine that is rather hard to um, do. Especially as I've not got the boat or the um, or truck design. So I'm thinking of doing another truck here. I might just copy that one that we just did. Uh, in fact, I probably will. So if we let me see. So the tie was here. I'm just gonna reconstruct the thing. The uh, cab was it here and then. Or was it flying? I'm sure it was flying. Let me quickly check. Okay, yep. Flying. And then there was a slab underneath. Alright. So down like that. Hopefully you guys like this little design thing we got going on. I think it's fairly good for, you know, being improvised. Uh, let me, boom. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, the buttons... Um, yep, here, and here. I'm just gonna, oh, <laughs> oh, good, didn't have them placed, or equipped. I'm just gonna dig down so I ca it's easier for me to replace with the wall. Uh, I think that's been dug up, right, screw that one, um, and then the white wall, here. Yeah, as I was saying before, I just had some venison. Uh, I think it's my third time trying it. Um, I think I've had it once in some type of burger, which reminded me of like mincing spaghetti bal uh, bolognese. I just realised this is gonna have to be a very short one, uh, based on the space we got. I think it's gonna be roughly that big. Uh, can it fit though? Hmm. I think it's going to be going off the road slightly. Um. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Okay. Build up. Uh, yeah, it's roughly that big. Um, something like that long. Looks good. And then. Yeah, that looks cool. And we can always just uh, delete that. Get the um, buttons out. Boom and boom. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you like the progress of the city so far. I mean, five episodes we've done quite a bit. Uh, and then I'm thinking, what colour? Hardened clay. It's a bit weird colour. Uh, 
Wait, let me get it in the sunlight. So you have to be facing this way. I'm thinking of not actually uh, carrying on the series with the sunlight. In fact, let me turn it off and then I'll quickly go to bed. Where's my... Actually, yeah, I may as well talk about it now. My dad's challenged me to try and survive... Where's it? Uh, daylight cycle. Try and survive in... Well, survival. <laughs> uh, hardcore for an hour. So, that's going to be quite fun. So, keep an eye out. I'll probably do a video of that sometime next week. I'm off all of uh, the week that's coming up. So, that's going to be fun. So, I can get some progression uh, on the city. And also, I'm thinking of doing Swagsville like once every other day. And then, in between that, tutorials. Um, let me quickly turn the daylight cycle off. There we go, a lot better. I mean, it doesn't look as cool when you look at the tower now, but you can make out stuff more clearly. Um, I think that trailer's pretty terrible in terms of uh, detail, so that's something I will have to change. Um, what can we have? Uh, maybe if we do this. Yeah, there we go. Oh. And then if we fill it back up with wool. Does that look better? Eh, slightly. I think. Uh, if we add this, does that look any better? Slightly. Sweet. Oh yeah, I was talking about venison. So, uh, the second time I had it, it was a bit raw. Which was a shame, so it... I can't remember what it tastes like, but I remember it wasn't the nicest. How about Neverack? Is that how you... What's it? Neverack, yeah. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> look a bit... It's going to look a bit funky, but... I always like to... Make stuff out of the blocks you wouldn't really think of. Um, there was a gap over there. Because I just... How did I do that? So it is. Uh, oh, I should add the slabs here. Oh, it's not going to let me. Here we go. Uh, um. Oosh. A. Okay. Ah. <laughs> yeah, second time bit undercooked. Um. I just can't remember what that tastes like, and then I just had it, then where the fix buttons? And it was perfection on a plate. Um, it was, it wasn't like undercooked, to, so where the blood was coming out of it. it I, I don't know if it was like medium, I, I'd describe it as medium, I mean it, it wasn't undercooked, but it wasn't exactly burning, or charcoal black. I don't get how people can enjoy meat when it's overcooked. I mean, the taste just disappears. Uh, how come... Let me just check. I don't like that, actually. Let me um, add... Yeah, that looks better. Uh, and can I slot down here? Yeah, sweet. Okay. Sorry this episode hasn't had the greatest uh, commentary, I mean I'm trying to concentrate on the vehicle to be honest, because I want it to look decent, um, and also I mean I'm improvising it, which is even harder. How about we will only do this too high, without breaking the um, motorway? Mm, nah. I think it has to be free high to be honest. Go. That looks alright. Fly away and fix the road. Sweet. So, I hope you like these trucks. 
Um, if you like the looks of the city and want to see its uh, progression, then make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. If you can think of anything that could help fix the trucks, any uh, suggestions, then feel free to comment in the uh, section down below.